In the 90s, no two NBA teams have accounted for more success. But while the Sonics have grown accustomed to winning under George Carl, their playoff ledger still contains painful memories of underachievement endured in the first round disappointments of 94 and 95. Last year, Seattle shrugged off their skeptics and advanced to the finals, rising to meet the challenge of Chicago, but falling in six games. Chicago has long placed its fortunes in the hands of one man, and has he delivered. His postseason heroics have enabled the Bulls to capitalize on their regular season dominance, turning hard work into hardware. Last season's championship run capped Jordan's triumphant return to the game he loved and gave Chicago their fourth title in the last six seasons. Will they do it again this year? We have it on good authority they might. When the NBA schedule was published last summer, you might have taken a peek at the 18th of March and said, hey, that looks like a good night to stay home. Well, that night is here, and we are at the United Center, two miles west of the Loop in downtown Chicago, Illinois, for the second meeting of the season between the two teams who met for the NBA championship one year ago. It's game two in 1997 between the Seattle Sonics and the Chicago Bulls. Four game road trip they head home tonight. Chicago second in a row at home. Most recently they uh, lambasted Atlanta here Saturday night. All of they're getting old is what everyone's saying. They're struggling is what everyone is saying. They've been seven and three over the last ten. That's not struggling to me today. Interesting. Here's the uh, rebound in the hands of Larry Stewart and the quick outlet pass picked up by Ron Harper. Three on two. Pippen has it. Finds Jordan who is. Uh, Fouled by Larry Stewart and will shoot two. Underneath to Jordan, McIlvain knocks it away. Here comes Seattle. Percy Hawkins has it. Playing back at home, he's a Chicago native from the corner. Larry Stewart for two. He's, making, for us, he's making us a believer. Shot of the night, they drew that early on. Here's Longley and it's taken away by Hersey Hawkins. He's got Payton left side. Gary Payton up, no good. Rebound Rodman. Outlet pass Pippen. Here's Michael Jordan, who goes right by Michael Bain. Hello. Well, that answers all questions about dead legs. <laughs> he can still get up. Hersey Hawkins, 4-3. Got it. You cannot give Hersey Hawkins time. It's the front rim, and here comes Gary Payton. It's a two-on-three. McIlvain Bain is down in the corner. Here's Payton jumper. Good. You're going to see this all night. Uh, here's McIlvain trying to guard well. Yeah, well, trying is the key thing there. That's a tough position for anybody. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Didn't uh, stick around too long. Oh, boy. What a beauty from Pippen. And you can see Pippen's eyes right now from the beginning of this game. He wants to make a statement that he can play tonight. The Bulls are going to allow him to shoot him. Entry pass to Longley, who turns and goes baseline. Now the up and under move is good. Nice move. Back underneath to pick up McIlvain. Oh, nice jump stop. And the hop from Kemp and the basket is good. Jordan, double team, comes on the first dribble. Underneath, nice pass from Pippen to Longley. Take a look at Scottie Pippen here. First, here's a baseline move. But it does it in so many other ways, not only passing it and scoring. Look at that. That's a great pass to Luke Longley. He's probably out until the second half. Kemp. Blocked by Longley. Blocked again by Longley. And this time, a 24-second shot clock violation. Luke Longley with two fine defensive plays. Yeah, and he's big. After Seattle, three on three. Hawkins underneath the Larry Stewart has to alter the shot because of Longley, but the tip is good. And that's Seattle. They attack. Come underneath. He's guarded by Hersey Hawkins. Peyton's back on Jordan. Here's Harper for three. Larry Stewart got there too late. Chicago. But, and that one's off Rodman. Back into the hands of Kemp. Now Peyton. McIlvain didn't look like he wanted it. But no, he, it. <laughs> he didn't want it. Didn't want to shoot it. But he made the shot. Road trip. Watch out. They have a great shot at winning the West. Chasing Utah right now. Camp Beauty. 
Here's Kemp's last move. Yeah, take a look at Sean Kemp here. This is one of those up and under moves. He's moving. The one advantage he has over everybody who's going to guard him is he's quicker. He's more athletic. Here's Rodman. Finds Longley. McElveen a little late getting there. Longley puts it in. Kicks it out to Larry Stewart. And then Sean Kemp with the jumper. And like you said, they'll let him have that. McElveen. Wow. Whoa, smooth move from the Marquette kid. Backdoor cut by Randy Brown. Takes the jumper and cans it. Yeah, he's capable. He's such a good athlete himself. Four for Seattle. Longly guarded by Perkins. Shoots it over him and puts it in. The dribble. Cummins comes to double. Oh, shit. And it's not there for Jordan in the early going. But the follow shot is good. And Luke Longley got away with another push. On the break, the tip, no basket interference. Good call by Billy Oates. Good call. I think he was going in anyway, too. Team him. Payton comes with the trap. Here's Randy Brown. And the steal from Gary Payton. Jordan back. It's a three on one. Percy Hawkins for two. And we have reached the end of the first quarter. Luke Longley inspires Chicago. Five out of six from the field, ten points. But it's the Chicago Bulls who trail by two at the end of one. 22-20. Find out why the Bulls are losing. They're human, that's why. Well, at home, they are 31-1. and one. Here's Terry Cummings for two. Game. Cummings. Longley with the block, and Jason Caffey might have helped. Really playing big for them right now. Well, he's 7 2. <laughs> That's the point. Sorry. Court <laughs> Jason Caffey guards him. Terry Cummings. Out of bounds. Chicago ball. Nice play defensively by Caffey. Calls for it. Judd Bushler's on and has Terry Cummings defensively. Graham for three with Caffey in his face, but he cans it. And they're going to make him shoot it also. Now Graham with Jordan. Perkins fade away. Got it. Sonics. Here's Cummings. Short off the glass. Jordan with a rebound. Bushler, Jordan, Wennington at the other end. Caffey gets the pass. And the great pass. Great catch. Move all the way around. Back to a one-point margin with 5.20 to go. Payton for three. First nine seconds of the off. Dots in the early going. Wennington puts it on the floor and puts it in the basket. Yeah, but four and nine for Seattle is a good sign. George Carl also told us before this game they have two keys, getting Sean Kemp off early and making shots from the outside. Kemp, nice play. And Cummings will try and make it a three-point effort. Beautiful pass from Sean Kemp. And this time the Bulls decided to double team, and you see what happens when you double team. That's why Phil Jackson does not like it. The Bulls aren't used to double teaming. They would rather not. Watch the eyes of Michael Jordan just a moment ago. What? Yeah, when you can look away and throw the ball 60 feet on the dime, that means you can play baseball. <laughs> not turning the ball over. Right now, Seattle is winning that war. Cummings after Jordan's turnover they get it in the hands of Hersey Hawkins and he is fouled hard and we'll go to the free throw line quiet in here the answer is yes John Bushler in and out Pippen left-handed putback <laughs> Bushler at the shot clock the putback no now Bushler with the follow nice alert play by Judd Bushler yeah it really was no and that scares them and and, and if he that back that's that's a big loss for the Bulls. Bushler comes with a double team and Rodman and uh, Cummins go down and Cummins saved it. Good ball movement to Peyton for three no and Rodman with another rebound. He's got seven deep two minutes plus to go. Kemp guarded by one. Bushler comes with a double that leaves Wingate open for three. The crew. 
as Kemp makes the basket and we'll have a chance for a three point play. 106 to go in the half. Oh, goodness. Sean Kemp is attacking the basket now, and it's giving the Bulls fits. Early on, you saw him taking those jumps out settling. Well, he's not settling anymore. He's going straight to the bucket. He's quicker. He has that advantage, and he's starting to take advantage of it and use it. Happened because the best player on the court right now for the Bulls has been Luke Long. Curve for three. Go <laughs> take some of that. Peyton on Curve. Rodney. The long leap. Open and what a smart play. Everyone in the gym knew he was not going to shoot the ball, but he forced them to double team. He gave an open shot to Luke Longley. That's a great play by Dennis Rodman. And a nice way for the Bulls to end the first half. And McIlvain picks up Longley, who uh, takes the first shot of the second half. And Jordan is there. Excellent position, and the putback is good. Screen from McIlvain. Back to Kemp. Quickly over to a three-point effort from Hawkins, which is good. Yeah, and the Bulls had a mix-up on defense. His average per game since Shrimp went out has gone up six points, from 12 to 18. Nice move in the and, lane. And we camp. talk about picking up the slack. He's done that. It's a back outside to Pippen. Underneath, Rodman, rare offensive move, draws the foul, goes to the line. That's probably why he got the call. No one expected it, especially the refs, so they had to make a call. And Jordan again goes into the local. Down Hawkins fronts him, and they find him in the alley -oop. And this is something the Bulls talked about at halftime. Nice adjustment. Hawkins with a little runner. Tip no good. Rebound Rodman. And there's Gary Payton to steal it. Leads the league in steals, but uh, misses the shot. He's got four steals in the game. That was great. Luke Longley made him hang in the air, and he stuck him there. Oh, wow. I'm not sure what McIlvain was doing, but he looked like a matador. <laughs> That went unnoticed. Here's Ron Harper. Back to Longley. Foul by McElvain. And the emotions are starting to come. We talked in the first half that neither team showed a lot of emotion. Seattle showed more. But now you can see it coming. Look, look at this lob right here to Michael Jordan. That play was set up by Luke Longley cutting to the free throw line, throwing it over top. The Bulls have made that adjustment at halftime. Four to go. Third quarter of play. And a two-point Seattle lead. Hawkins. Got it. Payton. Tough shot. Rodman. Big rebound. Yeah, you can see Dennis getting into this game. Now let's go back and take a look at a healthy Dennis Rodman. Yeah, we talk about being a great athlete. That's athleticism. But even more important, look at this outlet pass. That's how you draw it up in the school books. Or for Chicago. There's Longley. Nice pass from Pippen. But Jordan underneath is fouled hard, and he'll go to the free throw line. <laughs> underneath the Perkins, Rodman guards him. Perkins for two. And that's the type of person that Dennis Rodman had problems with, somebody who was taller than him. Gets it inbounds in the hands of Ron Harper. Pippen calls for it and gets it for three. Yes. Back to a one-point game. They need more of that from Scotty Pippen. Hawkins with the counter. Wide open. Attacking. That's what Seattle does again. Payton, little runner. Rodman tries to save it, but he's on the line. He's into a photographer's lap, and everybody holds their breath. <laughs> well, the photographer was saying he was sorry, which was, that's a change. Oh, he gives up his body. And Dennis with a wry smile, recognizing familiar territory. <laughs> Under five minutes to go, third quarter, a four-point Seattle lead. They led by three at the half. Turn around, fadeaway jumper for Michael Jordan. Jordan shoves off, Payton. Offensive foul is called. They got Longley, I believe. It was Michael Jordan who kind of initiated the action and got away with one. There's the shove. The yeah. first show. Yeah, and you can see Longley trying to hold. That was a great acting job also by Gary Payton. Cummins is on the floor again. There's another turnover by Scotty Pippen. Cummins down. Steve Kerr gets down and mixes it up. And Perkins saves it for Seattle as he gets it to Nate McMillan. Hawkins in the low post. Offensive foul is called again. And that'll be on Hersey Hawkins. 
all the time. Two-point game again. Kerr. That's for two. Dennis Rodman. Doing it in every way. Playing defense. And you'll see him still get the rebound. He's taking this game over with his effort. By Sam Perkins. They've gone scoreless for the last three minutes. Gary Payton is 2 of 11 in this ball game. From the corner, Percy Hawkins. Hawkins for three. That's off the mark. Rodman with another rebound. And a foul is going to be called on Terry Cummins. Watch out. Technical foul on Cummins. And Rodman keeps his cool. Well, Rodman knew Terry Cummins was upset, so that's why he stood over top of him. That's a smart play by Dennis Rodman. He knew Terry Cummins was upset over that, and he perpetuated it by standing over him. You can see it right here. You see it. He does that on purpose. And you knew you would get a reaction. You knew you would get a reaction because it's Dennis Rodman. Here's Jason Cappy. Nate McMillan read that perfectly. Nate McMillan read that, but Luke Longley should have cut to the basket. Point three remaining in the quarter. Here's Gary Payton. Back to Cummings. Off the dribble. Strong. Longley is there. Hawkins at the buzzer. That will not count. Longley with the fine defensive effort. His fourth stop. Fourth block of the ball game. But Hersey Hawkins with ten third quarter points. And as we head to the fourth quarter, Seattle still leads now by one. All right, Greg, for the moment, he sits. Sean Kemp is back on the floor. And Terry Cummings opens the fourth with a two-pointer. Uh, Jordan guards Peyton. Ten on the shot clock. Peyton takes it in deep. Fights for the rebound. It'll be Peyton and Longley. Michael Jordan. Quickly over to Kerr for three. Touch pass into Cummings. Awkward, but good. Nice move. Nice, strong move. Jerry Payton goes by the other guy. And there's a steal for Chicago. Here comes Steve Kerr. Michael, who played only 29 in that win Saturday night, gets the jumper to go. We're tied again for the seventh time. That he ever has in his career. But Michael Jordan is fine. And he'll be fine for the playoff. And another chance for the lead. It would be the first of the night. Here's Jordan. This for the lead. No. Cummings. Kathy gives him a body. Oh, Cummings boy. has a tough one. That's a tough shot. Kerr. Left open. You leave him open and that's what's going to happen. Yeah, he is stepping up right now. That is a great pass by Steve Kerr and a tough, tough shot. And yeah. look at Terry Cummings right here. You can't play better defense. He takes the butt, he pushes him in his face, still makes the shot. That is a nice shot by Terry Cummings. Simpkins guards Kemp. Bushler comes to help out. They kick it out to Hawkins, then to Payton for three. Oh. Beautiful ball movement. Beautiful pass by Kemp. Eight times we've not seen a Chicago lead. That pass right in the hands of Gary Payton. Another steal for Payton. <laughs> Five on the shot clock. Ah, beauty move. Oh. Terrific move by Sean Kemp. He heard us over here. Yes. Sean Kemp on the post, and this is where they want him the ball. They want to get him the ball down on the post and for him to make a quick move before double team comes. You can see Michael Jordan coming to the pitch a little too late. Minutes. Two seconds. Jordan, Wingate on it. Another steal by Percy Hawkins. In trouble, gets it back to Kemp. He was playing. He guards Kemp. Kemp takes it on the baseline, and Rodman picks up the foul. Wingate now switches over to take Steve Kerr. Double team on Michael, 40 feet away from the basket. Gets the return pass and puts it in. And it still didn't work. Rodman has Kemp, double team from Bushler. Offensive foul. That's five fouls on Kemp. Kemp's laughing. He's upset, but that was a great move by Dennis Rodman. Move in your feet on the post. 
People think coach defense sometimes is just banging. That's moving your feet and anticipating. Dennis Robin did a great job. Was there just a little bit of a flop there? Look where this trap is. He's almost at half court, and he's being trapped. One rule, never let the guy split the trap. Michael Jordan did that. He gets the ball back, and he gets a layup. Alley-oop. Rodman. Offensive, or yes, offensive foul on Dennis Rodman. Yeah, he pushed off and Sean Kemp back. And Kemp gets both free throws. The lead is 5, 4-10 to go. Sam Perkins back in the floor. Wingate is on the bench. Here's Michael. Two. Now Jordan goes by Gary Payton, takes the jumper short. Kemp. The chance for its first lead of the night. Kerr, Longley, got it! Longley, underneath. Jordan. Kemp, foul. Gave it to Scotty Pippen. And that is six. He's out. Yes, and, and you could see Scotty right away. That foul could have been given to either guy. And it's it's unusual that the star guy gets it. Scotty got the foul. That's a big foul. Only the second disqualification of the season for Scotty Pippen. We you look at these two Jersey guys, Pippen. Hershey Hawkins and Steve Kerr. Everyone talks about Popo ball fans, but that's great defense by Steve Kerr right there. And he backs it up with a great pass cutting to Luke Longley. Nice finish. That's tough for a big man to catch the ball on the move and finish the shot. What a role Steve Kerr and Luke Longley have had here in the fourth quarter. Here's Jordan taken away. Six steals by Gary Payton, but an ill-advised attempt to get the ball to Hersey Hall. That play was caused by Michael Jordan. He forced Gary Payton to try to get rid of the ball earlier than he wanted to. On the baseline, Rodman in control as he went across the end line. It'll be Seattle ball. Tried to call a timeout and thought he was fouled. Peaks inside for Sean Kemp. Oh, tough, tough effort, and a foul is called in the low post. Kerr guarded by Hawkins. Payton. Jordan. Foul. That may be on Kemp. If so, he's gone. It is on Kemp. I'm going to try to go for the three. It would be Hersey Hawkins. Inbounds to Terry Cummins. Cummings gets it back out to Perkins. Takes it. Didn't get it. Loose ball. Cummings has it. In the corner for Payton. It's foul. It's called on Longley. And he'll shoot three free throws. Oh, what a big, big call. But they had time on the clock. Payton gets the first. He's got two more opportunities for the season. A 70% free throw shooter. He's 3 of 3 tonight. Made the first two easy. You usually don't get on the player for trying to make a play. For the tie with 20.8 left. We're notched at 78. Now this is where they're going to miss Scottie Pippen. You can see them getting the ball out of Michael's hand already. Longley guarded by Perkins. Eight to go. Kerr, left side. Harper drives. No foul is called. Loose ball. We're going to overtime. Quarter. Ron Harper guarded by Nate McMillan. Rodman. Jordan. Miscommunication. That one's knocked out of bounds, and it will be Seattle's ball. Been fouled out. So they haven't been a juggernaut offensively. Here's the trap from Harper to Perkins. Got it. Yeah, and again. Nearing three minutes in overtime. Longley. Kerr. Foul. Many points. It's tough not to look at that, but he's a great defender, and he has a great defender on him right now. And he'll go to the free throw line. They call it on Peyton. His fourth. They're playing so well 
the defense is so tight right here. Now, earlier you could call it. Right there, that's a tough call. That's a tough call. Uh, I, I would say that's not a very good call because you could call it at any time. Well, they've had two Terry Cummings shots that they probably would like to have back their last two times down. Hawkins. Oh, man. Oh, what a big shot. Big shot and great pick. Great pick. Now Peyton. Here's Hawkins for three again. Oh, my goodness. One minute mark in overtime. Jordan for three. Off the mark. The tip for Rodman. Cummings back to Perkins. 4-3. No. Loose ball foul. Who'd they get? Uh, Terry Cummings. Four for the lead. Thirty points, Michael Jordan. Ten on the shot clock. Now here's Gary Payton guarded by Michael Jordan. The play broke down, so they go to Gary Payton. Oh my gracious, what a shot! Wow, he almost made that shot. Oh. This is a nice move, and it's with his left hand, people. So close, and now the Bulls are saying we're was the foul. He bodied him. Michael got him with the body, and I think that was a good call. One more to take the lead. Three free throws by Gary Payton forced this thing into overtime. He's got the triple-double, the sixth of his career. 14 points, 12 rebounds, and 14 assists. His first miss from the line tonight. And it's good not making a timeout because now Seattle does not have a chance to set their defense up. I can't believe in that trapping right away. Oh, a clean block. No, foul is called. McMillan is going to be called for the foul. I thought he got all ball. Wow. I thought it was an absolutely clean block. They're calling it on Gary Payton. It was a, it was a late call. Let's take a look. Now, you can call a hand check right there, but they didn't call that. He did. That was a good call. He hit Michael Jordan on the arm. I don't know who they gave it to, but that was a good call. He's 10 of 11 at the line tonight. You know, Seattle right now feels like they're being robbed. They think they're getting the Jordan rules, but that was a good call. The only thing you can say is he had no chance of making the shot. Now, if that's me shooting it, that's true. But that was Michael Jordan. He might have made that shot. Two points, Chicago edge with three seconds remaining in overtime. Three seconds to go in overtime. Hawkins guarded by Kerr. Puts it up. No, the tip. No. They got their first lead with 2.20 remaining in regulation. They win it in overtime. And let's go over to Craig Sager with Michael Jordan. Well, Michael, it's a tough call. You didn't get the lead to late in the ball game, and then you had to carry the load with Tony Hurt and also with Scotty in foul trouble and also Luke in foul trouble. Tough game. It was a tough game. I mean, it was a gut game for us. And, you know, a lot of calls could have went a lot of different ways. And I guess the home court advantage was in our favor tonight. And, you know, it was a gut game. You know. Pippen didn't have a great game offensively. Neither I didn't shoot the ball particularly well. You know, that tells you how much we miss Tony Kukoc in that lineup. He certainly could come in and pick up when Scotty and I are not able to carry the load offensively. But we got a great game from uh, Luke, and, and that was a big help for us. You lost two games recently. People said that maybe Michael Jordan's legs were tired. You have Seattle coming in, a finalist from last year. Was this a message game for you guys? It's a message game. I think, you know, we, we're starting to get ourselves back into a good rhythm. But for that, you know, last week, it was a bad week for us. And, Every team goes through that. I mean, we're not immune to that. And, you know, but now we seem to have a good feel for ourselves. Our offense is starting to come around. We're starting to get more practice so we can get a rhythm together. And come playoff time, we'll be back. I don't want to change the subject. We had a tribute to Dean Smith at halftime. I know you couldn't be there because you had a game on Saturday night. But your thoughts on Dean Smith? I'm very happy for Coach. I mean, he downplays a lot of things. And, you know, showed the modesty that he has. And, um, you know, we as all players who have gone through that program, 
respect him as a father in some ways, and certainly he's, he, we feel he's one of the best coaches ever, and he's certainly deserving of that respect. Thanks a lot for being with us. Now let's go back to Vern, Doc, and Luke.